Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 A War of the Shows. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man no-shot run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without having uh, to use a single weapon or a single explosive. I threw in permanent dark events for good matter. Um, but today it is more about Operation Damned Druid than anything else. It's a dark VIP mission and we got exactly what we need. Uh, supplies and intel is currently what we're missing. So let's get there and let's see what kind of team we can muster. All right, so our typical team would consist of, uh, consist of Hogbite plus a couple of uh, rangers and a few specialists. The question now is should we, should we risk injuring our Psy operatives or should we just go with however many rangers we have available and then just basically go in like this and probably take Sonar with us as well. Like would that team here be able to successfully do the mission? Potentially. Uh, Captain Ivor Beard and Roby both have Blade Storm, so potentially that would work. Let's try it without Hogbite. It will also be a good test for us, just see if we're ready for it. Got our Arc Blade. Three mimic beacons, that is fantastic. Zoo Cougar and Zonar uh, will be responsible for the healing. We got plenty of mimic beacons and we got quite a few mind shields as well, so that if the warlock uh, would show up, we'd still be able to uh, defeat him. All we need to do is neutralize um, or capture the VIP, so that should not be the biggest problem, to be honest. We can probably bypass quite a bit. Let's jump into the action and see how we can do that. Good, we landed. It's quite a, uh, quite a distance to our extraction zone. And we gotta free the VIP here. Mission is considered to be difficult, so we're looking at 12 to 15 enemies and or a chosen. And let's maybe just Copy that. aggressively move forward. Okay, fair enough. We got ourselves Pretty dif uh, difficult start here. We're not immune to the purifier. Uh, the lightning reflexes of um, the spectre will be annoying, but most annoying will be the three armor of that heavy mech. So we're probably going to resort to Comet Protocol just in order to chuck through that massive amount of armor. We got a few Mimic Beacons, so we should be fine from move, move, move. that angle. Got it. So Kuga moves over here and Sonar, to be honest. I don't want to jump down and then eventually trigger Stepping off. with simply over, uh, overstepping and maybe one of the civilians is just breaking our concealment. That wouldn't be the best choice. All right, they moved away, which isn't too bad. The guys here on the other side are not moving away. So who has Blade Storm? Roby does. Diva does. If we're moving in, that'll probably trigger the other pack and potentially another one. But we're okay. We still got plenty of. We still got plenty of. Um, mimic beacons. Yeah, 
this here wouldn't really do us any good because the lightning reflexes would not uh, trigger the blade storm but this gives us two additional attacks Potentially one, because the heavy mech tends to just go on to overwatch. It hit the plate. Or in that case just shuts down entirely for two rounds, which is fantastic. Yeah, I figured we would probably uh, trigger that extra pack. And this guy here didn't move at all. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Alright, so who's our next target? That's a good question. Could move to the Viper and start slashing it and then essentially killing it yeah let's let's get her off uh, the field this might trigger yet another pack because we're starting to move in further and further viper is stunned for two additional rounds and yeah that is exactly what I was thinking might happen. We're definitely going to use... Uh, we're definitely going to use um, our Mimic Beacon here. Hey, well, protocol wouldn't be too bad, to be honest. That's teamwork. No, we're not hunkering down. Uh, we, we just use teamwork to get that extra ability. And let's take a look if we're just shutting the mech down or if we can actually take over control. Take over control would be fantastic. Yeah, 50 50, good enough. Come on. There we go. Might as well pull the entire pack uh, map in one turn. All right, very well. We still could school mine this guy here. Not the worst idea ever. Could start um, slashing a codex. I'm a bit worried about the um, purifier just exploding in our face and then dealing a lot of damage. Let's try to take pieces off of the board. This here is out of reach for us. The Codex is not really taking a piece off of the board. It's oftentimes just making the situation a little bit worse if you're starting to attack it. The Viper currently is disabled. So the next logical target would be to attack back here. Or get the Purifier. The problem that I'm having with the purifier is I don't want it to explode, right? But I likewise also don't want it to start uh, burning everyone. So we gotta bite the bullet and this is potentially going to like deal a bit of explosion damage. Well, two points of damage.
That would be a really nice chunk of extra damage with enemy protocol. I think he's currently stunned, the, the mag here. At least it showed stunned for two rounds. Not sure if it is still. We could kill it. We could kill it. Problem that I'm seeing is more the purifier. But the mimic beacon should take care of that. We're standing a bit in the open if we're ending here. Not optimal, but I'm trying to not cluster up too much. All right, four turns shut down. So that thing is not going to move at all. All right, we could use our Mimic Beacon from up here. We want to finish the Viper. Hmm, excellent question. I'd much rather like to go for full cover because I think that the Mimic Beacon will not fully last the entire time. Moving to here, we still got the th uh, throw axe, which we're going to use this here could stun and therefore disable him. Yep, we are lucky with stuns today. That's fantastic. Also solves our problem. This would be nasty. If the if the guy explodes, it'll be a lot of damage. Don't want to cluster up too much. What I could do is I could attack from here. Would leave us wide open, but with a mimic beacon, that's not the end. Um, the end all. The guy then then starts to move back. Bladestorm would trigger, and only hit Roby. Purifier is not very pleasant to deal with. Let's see, does this here finish the guy? Yep. Just making sure we're taking pieces off of the uh, the field, like I mentioned. If we're placing a Mimic Beacon here in the open, that means the Purifier needs to continue to move back. That'll trigger Bladestorm. Quick feed here, could kill the Viper, start hitting anyone else, let's just kill the Viper. Target neutralized. There's the Bladestorm I talked about, nice, that went right into a stun. Now we gotta hope that the Mimic Beacon just absorbs enough damage. Alright, that's potentially three shots. The third one will be against the mech. All right, fair enough, which means we're getting a psionic bomb. 
of the end of the world we're not using our uh, weapons so that's okay that's all good let's start with getting this guy here out of the way could be a kill nope it's not but it is another stun and that's good enough we're moving up with Roby since he has bladestorm I can move up hit once and the bladestorm will kill this guy next turn In terms of combat protocol, we could finish the purifier here. Yep, that's good. That's potentially what we're going to do. Moving into full cover. Could also finish the Spectre. That's also good. Divat is the second uh, soldier with combat protocol. Uh, with Bladestone, sorry. Moving up. And that's a miss. Get it together. We came out here for this. Very unfortunate. Alright, we got our mimic beacon. Moving to here. Common protocol to get rid of the purifier. There we go. That's one down. Definitely need the mimic beacon. And the mech is just going to stand here for now. I am still not clear on the regulations if I can theoretically use uh, their weapons. I'll just for the time being say the answer is no. Uh, which means we've just yeah taken over the mech and it's kind of that gigantic mimic beacon. Spectre is out of combat for now. That's not an issue. Trooper will uh, will be killed. Yeah, instead of aggressing with it, how about we're just helping Divat here with an aid protocol? That means he will very unlikely be attacked. Moving, Moving up. And we're putting a nice little Mimic Beacon into the middle of the field so that all three or all four of them can actually see it. End of the turn. There's the Blade Storm. And there's the kill. Very nice. Three extra hit points. Fantastic. There is yet another blade storm, and this uh, this time the blade storm even stunned. It's great. But it starts to be a bit of an annoyance. Good. We're finishing this side of the battle map. Very good. We're being action efficient by school mining and moving at the same time. Might as well give us 
the facility lead that I was looking for. Uh, barely not successful. It's fine. Okay, that is not fine. We'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal, mentally and physically. Let's start speeding up the Codex. Nice, it got stunned. Stunned is fantastic because that means it cannot replicate. All right, we're moving up. Worst potential time to trigger yet another pack. <laughs> okay, well, it is what it is. We got another Mimic Beacon, right? All right, moving up. And sort of moving back, so just in case that if the hack fails, it'll take the full brunt um, of another blade storm attack. I would like to reload. Not that it matters, but it's just action efficient. Old habits uh, die slowly, as they say, and we're just placing another mimic beacon. That in uh, return uh, will. Still mean this guy here dies because we do have Bladestorm on Divert. There you go, that's the Bladestorm I was talking about. And the guy was entirely killed by Bladestorm. Alright. Very nice. Cover my flank. That on oh lucky us. That on the other side was not nice. It was only a one round uh, stun, which definitely sucked. Uh, we don't have revival protocol. Holy shit! Why don't we have revival protocol on Sue Cougar? Right, I need to solve uh, solve that and give him revival protocol as soon as possible. Good. Halo here can only reach one target, so that's pretty simple. That's a pretty simple attack. This is hopefully killing the Codex. There we go. Wonderful. Enemy down. We can theoretically hack the turret. And that is definitely what we would want to get. Before we're doing it, I would like to do the rest of the turn though. This hopefully stuns it again. Nope, it does not. So we have triggered the clone. If we're attacking it from here, this guy will trigger Blade Storm, so we can kill two sectoids for the price of one. It's a very aggressive move, but one that I feel is going to be incredibly valuable. Problem is no one is checking the mech now, and the mech might as well 
Might as well just get free. I can move it to here. Or I can move it to even to here, which is not a bad idea. And in terms of combat protocol, let's just get one of the codex, uh, codexes down. All right, something seems to be wrong. Oh, wow. What's happening? Not the best time for Bladestorm miss. I was so close to think about uh, just um, just uh, using Comet Protocol on the Mac. All right, at least the Bladestorm on topic here had worked very well. Good, we're going to heal, we're going to combat protocol, that's a pretty no-brainer type of uh, move. Good, mech is down, wonderful. Good, we're going to reconceal and I think we're going to be okay. Oh wow, yeah, that was the worst reconceal ever. But I know how we can maybe salvage the situation. Reconceals right under the tower. Once the tower is hacked, uh, it should lose its um, radius where it uh, can detect you. And we finally got our lead on the facility. That is worth a lot for us because it means we have a get out of jail card. And see, yeah, now the turret is essentially disabled. Yeah, Roby moves up and just double checks that there is no one back there. Fantastic. Dead. Moving in. Good. Six more rounds. We know that reinforcements are going to join as soon as we are... Hitting this guy unconscious, oh, yeah. which means I would like to move everybody as far towards uh, the exit zone as possible. On, Going to wait one more round here. Reloading. And end the turn. Good. Now is the perfect time for a bit of a subdue. There you go. Nice little slap with the back of his hand. Immediately project some respect into the VA, uh, the dark VIP. Good. And we're at the end of our turn. Yeah, there are the reinforcements that I talked about. More from coming in. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Yeah, we don't need to farm them. Well, well we might as position. well just call it a day. Packing it in. Got the goods. This is Firebrand. The IP is secure. Ready to boogie. Heading home. I'm out of here. Pretty good. That was not a bad. Only got uh, Zoo, uh, 
a little bit injured. The rest of the team did fantastic. And yeah, given the fact that Hogbite was not there, we managed quite well, I would say, overall. Good, we landed. And we got a promotion for Halo. Very, very well. Yeah, run and nothing versus conceal. I think we're going conceal again. Good job, Suhuger, only five days. And we got even a bond level available. Cool, very good. Hit points. Yeah, we don't have the PCS increase yet. So far, it's only two hit points. If you get the resistance order or the continent bonus to increase PCSs, that'll be three. And even more important, we got a facility lead. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow. Fantastic. 200 into a lot of supplies. Impressive work. And fear of psionics. Yeah, it's getting better and better. The bond between these soldiers continues to grow. They can gain additional tactical strengths if they continue their training together. Good. Um, yeah, how about... We're reco uh, recovering negative traits and increasing a bond. That means hopefully in the next 10 days not much is happening. Because then uh, uh, we would have a level 3 bond. And Richter is our uh, highest specialist. So that would be great if he would lose all of his negative traits. Yeah, we're pretty battered. So it'll be great to not immediately be engaged again. Good, let's take a look. I haven't played for a while, so what was the idea? I think generally the idea was we wanted to make contact here and go on deeper. We got enough supplies, we got enough intel, that should be fine. Contacts are also looking good. So let's go with my initial idea and just follow up i'm still researching whether or not i can use null lens by the way uh, for the sarcophagus because one of the big things that is going to happen very soon is here the covert action uh, once the stronghold is being spotted out we are ready to we're ready to kill her Good, got 70 into. Improving transmission protocols, reducing the cost of additional comm stations by 50%. That's pretty good. We're actually going to do that. We're actually going to do that. I agree. Because that uh, the way that the uh, mm, those uh, research um, uh, communication towers work is they begin to um, be more and more expensive the more you build and they actually start like adding up quite substantially and reducing them by 50 percent means that we will have a really really solid economy leading the resistance is a daunting task commander but your efforts so far have that's good explosion uh, immunity to explosions is not immunity to melee weapons so we are fine she still cannot attack us that is fantastic Let's hope he will not get uh, the immunity to melee. Alloy padding would suck. We hopefully can prevent that. I don't know the hidden event, but this here is pretty bad. It just makes them more tanky. Yeah. Period. Like the injured soldiers can be sent into combat. Great. I like it. 20% more income from... Uh, the black market is not bad either. And this here is flat out 10% more supply drops. Currently, that'll be 20 per month. Mm. Yeah, I think that is better than under the table for now. We don't need to really train anyone to the rank of sergeant, but... Uh, live fire training is a really, really, really strong um, resistance order. Just um, using that when you're kind of behind and just got squad wipe. That is absolutely, um, absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, we got 200 and uh, 223. Um, 
essentially got 10% uh, more due to, uh, due to our resistance order. So that's not bad. And we are now starting, that's what I want to see. We're now starting with our vests. Got an experimental armor after experimental armor after experimental armor. So that's, that's actually a fantastic uh, breakthrough. Nullens, that uh, is good. Inspire is also a really, really strong ability. Might as well use that. Good, we're not interrupted so far. And there's the stronghold. Good, so contact with new reaches is made instant, uh, instantaneously. This is one of the strongest uh, resistance orders um, in the game. I absolutely love it, and that will help us to be so, so, so much faster. Oh, wow, look at that. Reduce avatar progress. Almost forced to do that. Reduce avatar progress here as well. Oh, the game is good. The game is good to us. Currently, no appropriate uh, soldier available. Uh, we would need to put Hogbite in here, but given that she is almost filled up, I think we gotta put Hogbite onto that mission. We gotta put Hogbite onto this mission. Give me just one sec to see how long it takes for him to get that, like, bond training. Seven more days. Do we want to risk that to run through? I'm sorry, Hogbite. We need you. I know it stinks, but I would really like to infiltrate that first. And who is going to get the sweet, sweet uh, dodge bonus? Yeah, it's going to be Roby. Question is, is that the best course of action? We're putting a lot of X into one basket. Yeah, but we do have the Psy operatives. If push comes to shove, I can bring them into uh, into a mission. It's half a month where we will not have two of our strongest soldiers available, and that will make for some interesting gameplay. But the payout would also be really, really strong. The other option is to not be just as greedy. And instead, like, put Halop, for instance, in here. I think that's the right call. Rope, yeah. Okay, I'll be greedy. I might... Uh, mm. I might regret it. The point is, Roby will be on our final team together with um, um, with Hogbite here, and just giving him that extra almost 10 dodge will make a pretty substantial difference in his ability to tank shots. We will begin the covert I might lose a mission in between, but that's the price of doing business. Uh, we will be able to infiltrate the stronghold soon. And that's really what we were after, right? So it's all good. Reading you loud and clear. New regional contact located. Seventy income. The local resistance operatives we just made contact with in this region warned us that one of the chosen. Yeah, that was in the area for some time. Th that was predictable. The, the problem is now that we have the third chosen, he'll also have a chance to uh, join in combat. And another problem is he will now also start training up. It's not the end of the world. We couldn't like keep up with without uh, mm, uh, without triggering him for forever. The advantage is if we're now uh, expanding, we're going to get a lot of supplies and that'll help us. Uh, we got Bump Squad here. Doesn't really help us a lot. 
Suit up, on the other hand, will help us a lot. Armor and vest upgrades uh, instantly completed. That's not bad. Bomb squad is not so good. So I'll just build the tower here. And we're going to settle over to Southern um, America as soon as possible. Good. Debris are cleared. I think what we wanted to do originally was a second um, a second shadow chamber and uh, a shadow chamber and the second side up should have been here so interestingly enough it doesn't even let me build a second uh, side up I never uh, fathomed it because I never really built uh, two Psy Labs, but this time I wanted to. And the game just flat out does not let me do it. Hmm. What is this? So we can do a Shadow Chamber, but we cannot do a Psy Lab. That is interesting. Which means our. Uh, Psy operatives have just become an even more valuable commodity here. Or pretty much the opposite of a commodity, they've become a very valuable resource. Because apparently I cannot build another Psy lab. Let's increase the power levels. There we go. No problem in building the Shadow Chamber for now. That'll just give us more Golden Path missions, and that's all fine. That's uh, really not a, a huge issue. We do not necessarily need this, but I would really appreciate if we can increase the healing speed for now. Got a few injured soldiers. Hmm. I am baffled. I would have never thought that that's not possible. I was actually under the general impression that you can build two Psy Labs. Today I learned that that is not the case. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Good. We got yet another alien facility. And that also means we're soon forced to march onto this facility there. Commander. Continue to make progress yep. on the Avatar project. That's now going to be to them down, we'll need to move fast. a normal um, a normal sighting that they are continuing to make progress. Fast Experimental fast. armor. You know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. And let's get another experimental armor. We do have enough force, that's not the problem. The results of our breakthrough were quite fantastic. fantastic. Good. We could get more intel. The question is, do we really need that? Could go and research a facility lead, which is not needed at this point. Don't really need plasma rifles. Archons could be good for the sword upgrade. I think we're going to do that next. Yeah, let's go with Archon Upgrades. That'll give us the highest sword abilities and we can continue removing negative traits. Fantastic. Very good ability, Fortress Training. Good, let's go with um, Soul Steel as a self-heal ability. Very good. Power relay now operational. And there we go. We got even more power. So much so that we're overflowing with power. Hmm. 
Let us demolish uh, our power relay up here. Confirmed. Very good. We're still good on power. And believe it or not, you cannot build another Psy lab. Good. Let's think about the other topics that we can, or the other buildings that we can build. I mean, resistance communications not necessarily needed at this point. We can just upgrade here, and that'll just keep us afloat. Uh, we don't need a workshop. Uh, we could go for a laboratory. It's a little bit late to do that, but it would upgrade um, our research speed quite a bit yeah not the worst idea it's not a lab rush but you could go for it and that's pretty much it right pickings are slim but I'm hoping we find a few more recruits Good. we're going to do that next let's finish the relay here then we're scanning very good then we're scanning for our supplies. Avenger plotting new course. And I'll also visit the black market real quick afterwards. Yeah, but before anything happens, what um, do we need to do here? Perfect. That's a nice side trip for extra intel and we probably want to counter that and um, a scientist so that's an all-around really good mission that's a protect the device mission and i hate it and we're likely going to do this here or probably going to fight the hunter but that's okay yeah we're probably going to do that Let's take an overlook. We wanted to get the supplies. We are on our way to at least uh, start hunting the uh, assassin. My plans with the double Psy uh, lab have been rudely, rudely interrupted, as it is not possible to do uh, to build that twice. It's really, really unfortunate. But on the flip side, we got the shadow chamber. If we're building a laboratory here, we're actually going to be fine. Uh, we do have all of the important buildings. I don't even know what I would want to build here. Probably nothing really. We got enough power. We got uh, definitely enough um, engineers by now. So that piece of the Jixi puzzle has been solved. Yeah, we're probably only requiring this here as an upgrade for now. And yeah, the 10% sort of extra critical chance isn't bad either. So maybe a little bit more upgrades here. Sword upgrade is a thing. Um, other than that, we're, I think, doing quite well. If we're looking at just the loadouts, not only the stasis vest, we got hazmat. With it, which is good because it protects you against the explosions as well, immunity to fire, acid and poison. I think explosions are specifically excluded here. So that's the difference between that and fortress. Fortress also makes you uh, immune to explosions. But the fire, the acid and the poison effects themselves are um, going to be negated. So that's not bad. I like the plated vest as well uh, with quite a bit of extra armor. You are going to be a extra extra tanky so those um, items come in handy i like them uh, good alternatives to the mind shield which sometimes is helpful sometimes it's not helpful so overall it looks good we got enough specialists one ranger halop will just get out of the negative trade recovery yeah we got four rangers two specialists that should be not even needed uh, to interrupt uh, Edgar Alien or Noxus in their training. So we can do the next mission with kind of a similar setup that we did the last uh, one. 
and Hogbite uh, can work with Roby to finally kind of get that Covert Ops uh, mission going. So yeah, it looks fine. I like what I'm seeing. And if you liked as well what you were seeing, then hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Shameless plug up to let the channel grow a little bit and see you in our next episode. Bye bye, guys.